Would you like to make a ton of money on Airbnb for years and years to come? Here are 10 home renovation ideas that will make your Airbnb property way more money. But even if you don't own your property, some of these won't require you to put a single hole in any wall or lift a hammer. So stick around to the end because some of these will work for you. Let's jump in. Welcome back Airbnb family quickly to number one. Let's manicure your lawn. You can have a beautiful Airbnb on the inside. You can spend tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars on your six bedroom property. But if that lawn does not keep up with the inside, it's going to fall apart in your photos. One of the best photos that you can have for an Airbnb listing is a beautiful outside photo because it creates curiosity. If someone sees a beautiful outdoor photo, they can only imagine what the inside would look like. They will click on your listing to see your living room and to see the bedrooms. If you had instead an indoor photo, even if your design is beautiful, someone might say, great property, just not my design style. I think I'm going to move on. And this is important. Even if someone is not going to book your place, you want them to click on it because Airbnb's algorithm is an interest algorithm and they track clicks because they want to see that your hero photo is interesting, which means you'll get shown more frequently. There is a direct relationship between listing clicks and total impressions. So have a beautiful outdoor shot to generate curiosity before someone gets to see the inside. And what goes into a great, well-manicured lawn? I'm glad you asked. The best Airbnb properties that I found have stone or concrete. They have wood chip, they have grass, they have plant life, flowers, bushes, trees. They have structures, cabanas, high fences, plants all over those high fences, creating this magical enclosure that people can imagine themselves having their memories in. A well-manicured lawn doubles the value of your Airbnb listing. Renovation number two is really going to make a splash in your competitive market. It is a soaking tub and even more than a big, beautiful soaking tub for the bubble bath. There's a bonus here. I want you to knock out a wall and put floor to ceiling glass, a window, and I want that window to overlook either your well-manicured lawn or something else magical, scenic, and beautiful. Can you imagine what your listing would look like when somebody clicks on your listing to see the photos and they go from seeing that beautiful outdoor shot to seeing the overlook from the bathtub looking at that same beautiful outdoor shot? I love this so much that as a renter, I look for soaking tubs in every single A-class property I can find. If I can get my hands on that, that is easy money. This is a class A luxury amenity that you need to put in your property if you can afford it. And for number three, let's go back outside. Let's add water. If you have cabins, make an artificial pond. That would be amazing. If you have a house with a yard, put a pool. And as a bonus, why not make this pool interactive? Have an enchanted waterfall with mood lighting or a theme park style slide instead coming right out of the wall of the bathroom with the soaking tub. Okay, maybe that's too far. I'm joking. Or am I? Why not? Remember, we are building an experience here. This is the one thing that we can all do to set ourselves apart from every other Airbnb listing is offer something that no one else can. And it takes being a little brave and it takes being a little crazy to come up with these ideas. You may not like the idea of a slide or a waterfall or a slide coming out of your house, but I'll tell you there are going to be guests that think this kind of stuff is just nuts awesome. And they'll book it because they've always wanted to slide into a pool from inside of a house. I promise we are going inside for some of these reservations, but since we're outside still, let's talk about ADUs. The right type of ADU could add personality to your outside. Imagine a streamline or a modular home or a 3D printed home, something that has some novelty to it. This can simply add that sense of more that you're looking for. On top of that, you can increase the total occupancy count of your listing, which means instead of sleeping only 12 people, you can now sleep 14 or 16, depending on the size of that ADU. And third, it can be a completely different listing altogether. You can break it up. You can have a small guest and a large guest at the same time and just keep making more money. And if you don't want to spend a ton of money on an ADU, you could do something smaller, something more budget friendly like yurts or a bubble dome. And speaking of bubble domes, let's take this tip all the way to the top. Let's build a rooftop deck. And as a bonus to that scenic rooftop deck, you can either put a hot tub or an observation bubble dome or maybe even both. This one is extremely arbitrage friendly for you renters out there. I have a student in Dallas that just rented a townhome that came furnished already from a host that was failing. And the main thing that we did to make that thing pop and make a ton more money 
was simply add a bubble dome to the roof. We also painted and added some cool knickknacks to the place, but in large, all we really did to make this one place more interesting to make more money was to add a clear bubble dome on the roof so people could stargaze, potentially, while they sleep upstairs. This one addition is not expensive, but think about the psychological effect that it has when someone is clicking through listings and everything is $200 to $500 a night and nothing seems breakaway. Everything is just more of the same. It's kind of downtown Dallas. But then one, not only does it have a rooftop deck like a bunch of others, but you could sleep outside on the roof and watch the sunrise over the skyline in the morning. How about that? Take tip number one and move it to tip number five if you have no yard and all roof. Places like Philly or Boston or other cities where everything is only two, three, or four stories high, but everybody has a roof. Take that same approach to a well-manicured lawn and just put it on the roof and sell that roof. People buy yards and rent rooftops in the Northeast. Okay, let's pump this up. Number six is about to get heavy. Let's convert your garage into a gym, into a communal space, into an extra studio into a gym and office. I like the idea of a gym over almost anything aside from additional sleeping space because the only two things that make you more money on your listing is sleeping more people and having desirable amenities. If your listing doesn't sleep enough people, then add some beds and insulate that garage. Cool, make that the conversion. But if you sleep enough people to be competitive, adding a gym gives you the option of getting people who might stay even longer than normal. For two or three day or four day stay, people tend to want things like hot tubs and experiences. Some people still do love the gym, but for stays longer than four days or five days, people want to see fully stocked kitchens, washers and dryers and home gyms because people know that when they travel, they start to relax on their habits and they don't want to lose the good habits. So they want a kitchen and they want a gym so they can stay in shape when they're traveling for work for a month or two or three. Do this and you'll see longer term results. Number seven is also friendly for both renters and owners, but owners can go a little farther with this. It's to create an Instagram wall or a feature wall. And a lot of you have seen these walls. A lot of houses have them, but many of them don't do a good enough job of creating the right kind of feature wall. It should be more than just plants and an LED sign. That's what everybody else does. But if you use good texture, artwork, optical illusions, really memorable stuff, people will want to book your space just for that photo, which gives you a backup plan as well. You can do more than just Airbnb with your property. You can put it on PeerSpace or Gigster and rent your space by the hour. And having visual gimmicks allows you to get these PeerSpace bookings with high frequency because content creators everywhere are constantly looking for new places to shoot and new looks. Make it easy for them. You get both Airbnb and PeerSpace bookings. Renovation number eight is perfect for some of you. We're going to turn back time and bring back the old bones of your home. We're going to bring back the history, the wood in the ceiling, expose the brick. We're going to bring back the stuff that cannot be replaced because it can't be made that way ever again. Some of my best performing rental properties in Dallas are an old warehouse that has old exposed brick and had for a period of time on that brick a 100 year old painting advertisement for Coca-Cola. And that property made tons of money until one day the building had to cover it. And I don't know why, if it was structural or if it was a safety thing, maybe there was something in the brick powder, but they no longer wanted that brick exposed. And I can tell you that my revenue immediately dropped when we no longer had access or view of that brick wall. So if you are in an old city with an older property, with that antiquated wood in the ceiling or the brick, the fireplace, I want you to find a way to make that front and center in your listing because people love character. Airbnb sells novelty. If you have something that is more of the same, you're competing with other people who have more of the same. But if you have old timeless value in your listing, your property is irreplaceable and will always stay booked just for that experience. Number nine is a toughie, but it's worth it. And think about it this way. Hotels and apartment complexes all have lower ceilings, eight foot to 11 foot ceilings. I fortunately have 16 foot ceilings, but they come with a $17,000 per month price tag, not really affordable for doing Airbnb. But with houses and industrial lofts, vaulted ceilings are totally accomplishable. There are a few ways for you to vault or raise your ceiling. In doing so, you might expose some of that antiquated wood that we were talking about and give your home a really unique shape. 
a bonus for this is to add a chandelier or wallpaper your ceiling once you're done. A high ceiling draws the eye. Adding wallpaper or a big fancy chandelier really accents that space. You're really selling the fact that you have something that no one else can offer. A lot of people when booking a short-term rental are looking for more space. And that's not just square foot. They want that vertical space too. One of my best performing short-term rentals, even as an arbitrage was, a three-bedroom apartment in Houston with vaulted ceilings at the very top of a B-class property, seventh or ninth floor. But because the living room had a stairwell going up to the second floor where the two extra bedrooms were, it gave the main living space a 14 or 15-foot ceiling and a big window at the front. That property, the rent was $2,500 a month, and I made $12,000 or more dollars per month because that living room shot was so nice. Of course, it slept 12 or more people, but combined with that look, the dollar per head went way, way up. Renovation number 10 is totally achievable and gets you into a special category on Airbnb, the chef's kitchen category. What I have found on Airbnb is almost every single chef's kitchen category listing has a kitchen island, and that is really the only similarity with all of them. Not all of them are nice. Not all of them are expensive. Not all of them have pampered chef pots and pans. Not all of them have a butcher's block, but all of them except for one out of hundreds of listings that I've seen were a chef's kitchen. And I think the reason why this is to get into categories on Airbnb, you need to write in the description what it is that you offer. And a full kitchen is the term that Airbnb is looking for to put you into a review. I think this is changing too. Right now, I believe that that review is manual, but Airbnb just bought an AI company that specializes in images. They might start to automatically check your listing photos to put you into categories. And right now, the chef's kitchen is what people are looking at to decide if they are going to click, yes, you have a chef's kitchen. And my friends, this applies to all categories. Let's play back a bunch of these tips and look at how they affect your category. If you vault your ceilings or expose the old architecture in your home, you can get put into the architecture category. If you make that old fireplace a centerpiece of your listing, you can get listed in the fireplace category. If you add a pool to your backyard, you can get added to the pool category. If you add a little mini putt to your backyard, you can get added to the golf category. If your soaking tub has that glass window that overlooks your awesome yard or a river, you can get added to the amazing views category. If you have a slide running from your house into the pool, you can get added to the OMG category because oh my God. If you add ADUs like a tiny home or a tree house or tents to your backyard, you can get added to the tiny home or the tree house category. If your rooftop deck has a dome, you can get added to the dome category. If you have created an awesome Instagram wall, you can get added to the creative spaces category. And also Airbnb did add a historical homes category. So all you have to do is rip down those new walls and show that old brick and you're in that category too. And while you're here with your mind on design, watch this video next on the 10 furnishing tips that I can give you that transformed my business and will transform yours as well. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. It was a big one. You mean the world to me, guys. And as always, I will see you on the other side.